Okay, so Alex, yeah. you were messing around with these things? Uh, I'm actually a really big fan of the Korg MS2000. That's, that's my choice. Awesome. Which our keyboard player has, uh, which we're going to be bringing out on tour, using for some of our new songs to do some bass synth and stuff like that. Uh, I used to have one back in the day, but it got shredded completely. I just you broke. Have one? Oh, that's yeah. thanks, man. I didn't know that. That's yeah, a bummer. Broke. I hate thinking about gear that you used to have that you don't have anymore yeah. that you loved a lot. It kind of hurts a little bit. It's like the girl that got away. Yep. The yeah, gear was, that got away. The gear. the gear that got away. You know what I got recently, actually, that I'm really into is Reason for my computer. Oh, and, right. you know, I have, like, my, you know, my MIDI controller and all that stuff, and it's, just, like, amazing. You can do everything on that shit, so. Have you checked out the demo for Reason 4 yet? No. Uh, I saw it, actually. Yeah, I saw it, but I haven't, like, tooled around with it at all. It looks pretty intense. Yeah, you should pick that up. It's pretty it's cool. 2.5, so, yeah. you know, I'm a little... I'm little in yesterday. I got to get with today. Yeah, we're we're all for that. We're all for uh, uh, computer emulation uh, when it comes to you know. Sometimes you can't like I have a great Poly Six, but it's this big clunky thing. It's like from 1982. I can't bring it on tour. So we're all about using whatever means we have to to synthesize to yeah. uh, emulate synthesizers. We also did use a lot of Reason on the new record. Uh, a lot of beats from Reason. Yeah. Uh, just a lot of layering and sampling from Reason, and a lot of synthesizers. And we also used actually a lot of GarageBand. Ironically enough, but whoops. Yeah, yeah. Well, Patrick, yeah. Patrick Stump, who produced our record, yeah. uh, he's like, I love GarageBand. I was like, really? Can we like, you know, work on de like Logic maybe or something? He's like, no, we gotta do GarageBand. I was like, all right. And he found all these really cool tones and stuff too. From yeah. There, so. When he said it at first, I was like, really? We'll find. We'll find. I was like, we'll get vintage stuff and we'll make it sound like yeah. that. But you know what? It sounded great, and we we got to use it. It's well, it's well designed enough to do that. It's I'm I'm surprised, but at the same time, I mean, it's. You can make any, if you have any gear, you can make it do something quality. It's just a matter of knowing how to use it. Yeah, totally. Well, we wrote uh, pretty much the whole record while we were on the Honda Civic tour with Fall Out Boy. We had, like, the rest of the night off, so we are like, let's, you know, let's just start writing a record and yeah. put out another record, like, within a year from our first record anyways. We have all this time to do it, and Patrick's like, I want to produce it. So we did the whole thing on our laptops, which is why we used a lot of Reason from the start, and he used a lot of GarageBand to, like, come up with ideas for cool parts and things, so... Yeah, we didn't have, uh, we just used the resources that were around us because we didn't have anything to do. It was, you know, a Fall Out Boy tour, so the venues were arenas and amphitheaters and stuff, which are traditionally in really industrial, remote areas of, uh, of cities, you know. So it's not like you can just run and go see a movie. You know, we were just sitting around, you know, sitting on our hands, basically. So we had all this free time to tool around with stuff and bounce it off of uh, Patrick, and that's ultimately how the, how the record was conceived.